My Alger Brother is a story of two brothers, Nikki and Velodia. How they would love each other, how they quarrel and again come together. The grammar part of the lesson introduces us to noun clause, use of abstract words, and use of phrases like all over, beside myself, and at one's height. It also tells the way oral apologies could be offered and how to make entries in your diary. So let us start this summary of the lesson My Elder Brother. Nikki and Velodaya are two brothers. The story is narrated by Nikki, the younger brother. Nikki was only a year and few months younger than Velodaya. They grew up and studied and played together. No difference as elder and younger was ever made between them. But, writes Nikki, he started to realize that he was no companion for his brother, either in age, in interests, or in ability. It even appeared to Nikki that Valodaya himself knew of his superiority and was proud of it. This thought, which may have been incorrect, occurred to Nikki by his vanity which suffered every time he came into contact with his elder brother. He was better than Nikki in everything, at lessons, in arguments, and in manners. All this took Nikki farther from his brother and caused him moral anguish which Nikki couldn't understand. When Velodaya was presented tucked linen shirts for the first time, Nikki was unhappy for not getting shirts like that. Nikki was sure that he would have felt happier if he was convinced that every time his brother arranged his collar, it was not meant to annoy Nikki. What tortured Nikki's mind most was the thought that Valodaya seemed to know what was going on inside Nikki but tried to hide it. But possibly Nikki's sensitiveness and tendency to analyze deceived him in this instance. It may be that Valodaya did not feel at all as he did. Valodaya acted on impulse and his interest in different hobbies was short-lived. Valodaya would suddenly have a passion for pictures. He would himself start painting, spend all his money purchasing them and beg them of his drawing teacher, of Papa and of Grandmama. Some days later, it would be a craze for curious to decorate his table, gathering them from every room in the house. Then it could be a madness for novels which he obtained on the sly and read round the clock. Nicky could not help being in awe of his brother's hobbies, but he was too proud to copy him and too young and not independent enough to select a hobby for himself. But the most Nicky envied about his brother was his happy big-heartedness, which showed itself strikingly when they had a quarrel. Nicky always felt his brother was behaving well, but he could not do likewise. The next section tells us about a quarrel the two brothers had one day. On one occasion, Valodaya's passion for ornaments was at its height. Nikki happened to go up to his table and accidentally broke an empty brightly colored small bottle of scent. Valodaya came into the room at that moment and saw how his brother had upset the symmetry of the different treasures of his table. He asked Nikki about who had asked him to touch these things and where was the scent bottle. But Nikki told him about having knocked it accidentally and its breakage and asked how did it matter. Valodaya's response was to ask Nikki to do a favor to him and never dare to touch any of his things again. The elder brother then put the pieces of the broken flask together and looked at them ruefully. Nikki was, however, still unrepentant. He retorted that Velodaya should not issue orders to him, and he smiled, though he hardly felt like smiling. Velodaya jerked his shoulder, a gesture he had picked up from Papa. 
He pursued his thoughts by saying it was nothing to Nikki, but it did matter for him. He called Nikki the nasty little brat who went and broke the bottle and then laughed. Nikki could not take this calling by name in silence. His rejoinder was, if he was a little brat, his elder brother was big but stupid. On this, Valodaya told Nikki that he was not going to quarrel with him. Giving a slight push to Nikki, he advised him to go away. Nikki asked him not to push. Valodaya repeated his advice, asking the younger brother to go away. Nikki stood his ground, saying he was asking his elder brother not to push. Valodaya, as if he literally took Nikki's words to his heart, tried to drag instead of pushing his brother away from the table. But by then Nikki was beside himself. He got hold of the leg of the table and tipped it over. All Valodaya's china and glass ornaments crashed to the floor. Valodaya cried, calling Nikki a disgusting little boy while trying to save some of his falling treasures. Valodaya cried, calling Nikki a disgusting little boy while trying to save some of his falling treasures. Nikki thought it was all over between them. They had quarreled for good. Nikki and Valodaya did not speak with each other till the evening. Nikki felt himself in the wrong and did not dare to look at his brother and could not do anything all day. Valodaya, on the other hand, did his lessons well and after dinner talked and laughed with sisters as he usually did. As soon as the afternoon lessons were over, Nikki left the room. He was too fearful, uncomfortable and ashamed to be alone with his brother. After their history lesson in the evening, he took his exercise books and started towards the door. As he passed, Valodaya, though wanted to go up to him and make friends, he scowled and assumed an angry expression. At that instance, Valodaya raised his head and, with a meaningful grin, looked at Nikki full in the face. Their eyes met and Nikki knew that Valodaya fully understood him, but still some irresistible feeling made him go away. Valodaya called after his brother crying his name aloud in a most natural voice without any sign of pathos. He asked Nikki not to be angry anymore and asked to forgive if he had offended Nikki. He then held out his hand. Something that came higher and higher seemed to be pressing Nikki's chest and stopping his breath. But this lasted only for a second. Tears came to Nikki's eyes and he felt better. Stammering, he asked his elder brother to forgive him and squeezed Valodaya's hand. Valodaya looked at his little brother as if he could not understand why there should be tears in Nikki's eyes. So here is the end of the summary of the lesson, my elder brother. Hope you liked it. Watch more videos like this by subscribing to this channel. And please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thank you very much.